Hey, what is up guys? Klausnix here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make one of my favorite workout routines, the push-pull. Now the idea behind the push-pull workout routine is that on the push days, you're working all the muscles that do pushing and extending. So you're gonna be working your chest, you're gonna be working your triceps, you're gonna be working your shoulders, you're gonna be working your quads, you're gonna be working your calves, you know, stuff like that. Those are all considered like push muscles, okay? And on the opposite, we have pull muscles, we have the biceps, we have the back muscles, we have some of the shoulder muscles again, we have your hamstrings, we have all these other muscles, hip flexors, that contribute to all the pulling motions that you do. Granted, there are prime movers and exercises and secondary movers, you know, that help you, but we're just gonna be focusing on the prime movers, the pullers or the pushers per workout. Now what I like to do, because my workouts are very much strength oriented and I try to keep them as balanced as possible, is that I like to hit things from all angles, okay? So in real life, when you push something with your push muscles, try and imagine something where you push something open, you know? Maybe it's a door or something like that, or you're pushing a drawer shut, you know? Just try and think of like all the little things you do every day where you like push something, okay? Now, you wanna incorporate that into your workout as much as you can. So I like to work all angles into it. In my push workouts, I like to push away from me, above and below, okay? So I'm pushing in all directions I can. If I'm pulling, same thing. I'm pulling towards my body, towards from the front, and towards from below. This way I know I'm hitting my push and my pull strength in all the ways that I can. Once you have that foundation in your workout routine, it's a lot easier to start filling the rest of the gaps. Okay, so we have push and we have pull. Now, I wanna remember, I'm pushing away, above, and below. So, to push above, I'm gonna have an overhead press in there, for sure. To push away, easy. Get a bench press in there. To push below, chest dips, okay? And now those are probably the three best push exercises for those angles, okay? So I know as long as I'm hitting those, I'm happy. Pull, I wanna pull from above. Chin-ups, I wanna pull towards. You have a little bit of flexibility here. Any kind of rowing motion, so you can do barbell row, you can do a dumbbell row, you can do a T-bar row. As long as it's pulling towards your torso, you're hitting that pull. Then you wanna pull from below the deadlift. So now after you have these in your workout routine, you have a bit of flexibility as to what you wanna do, okay? My workouts are very strength-based, so I'm okay with kind of maxing out on these exercises and then maybe doing them twice a week and then just maybe having less accessory exercises. Since I have a very strength-based program, I might do these three on my pull workout, and then I'll add bicep curls and delt flies. Now let's talk a little bit about those uh, accessory movements, okay? Now I like to add the bicep curl because it's another pull at the elbow joint. I only have that in my chin-ups, and uh, it's also good for you know the tendons in your biceps. If you're doing a lot of deadlifting, putting a lot of strain on the biceps, you wanna make sure your biceps stay strong. I also always include the delt lateral fly because I'm not doing any pulling yet in this field of movement, okay? I'm pulling always towards in this plane of movement, but I wanna break into this plane of movement because my body also pulls in this way, right? And then for the push side of things, I usually like to add a tricep press down, okay, to support my pushing down strength, and then to support my pushing away strength, one day I'll do a dumbbell press flat on the bench, and then another day I'll do it on an incline, okay? So I'm supporting all movements of push with my accessory movements, one for each. So obviously there's a lot of different variations for how you can push away, how you can push above, how you can push below, you know, same thing with pull. That's why I like the push pull so much because it has this structure to all the programs that is the same and you have a lot of flexibility to throw a lot of other exercises in there. If one day you're feeling really weak and you feel like you can't do a really heavy dumbbell row, you can maybe do a machine row, you know, same thing. Okay, let's talk legs for a second. Now you don't want to forget about your squats. So where would you put your squats? When you're squatting, you're pushing the weight up, okay? It's a very press-oriented movement. So I put my squats into the push category. So I have two push workouts a week. And I have two pull workouts a week. So in one workout, I will do the bench press, squats, and a flat dumbbell press. And then in the other workout, I will do overhead press, chest dips, and instead of a flat, I'll do an incline. Now, if you're like me and you really want to have good grip strength, I like to include that into my pull workout. So that could be rack pull or it could be shrugs. But what I like to do is farmer walks. Now, I do those with dumbbells, 
one in each hand and I find a, a flat space where I can walk back and forth, okay? So it's kind of hard to find in some gyms. Some gyms have running tracks and you can usually go around the track or just a space where you can do that. Now, not all gyms do that, but if you're trying to improve your grip strength and you want to work your legs, farmer walks, best way to do it. Now that you have the staple exercises out of the way, you have a bit of flexibility, like I mentioned earlier, you can do dumbbell curls, dumbbell lateral flies, for the press, you know, any kind of tricep extension, it's up to you. But I will let you know one thing that I think is important. The shoulders both push and pull. Shoulders can do a press, but they can also do a pull. I can do a behind the head shoulder press to hit my rear delts, or I could grab a rope and do face pulls to hit my rear delts. So I can push or pull, you know? The shoulders do a bit of both, okay? Because they're a ball and socket joint, they go all around, they can go in all the different movements, okay? So just consider that when you're working out that you don't exclusively do push things with them or pull. Now with the legs, you could make sure that you get that uh, leg extension in, you know, on a machine or, you know, like a leg curl, something like that. I would probably recommend putting lunges in there. I think that they're a staple leg exercise that you should be able to do or a leg press or some other leg accessory movements. And when you make your push-pull routine, it by nature has a balance to it because you're pushing one day, you're pulling another day, pushing, pulling, it's a very balanced, but if you want to make sure you're hitting all your muscle groups, take the time to do a bit of research into all the muscle groups you want to work and make sure you hit them. I wouldn't forget about your rear delts. I would include some core exercises, even though things like deadlifts or any kind of movement where you have to stand and hold yourself upright, maybe while you're doing an overhead press, that's very core oriented, but you don't do a whole lot of twisting. So I would include some kind of twist movement in there. I think any good workout routine has your body moving all the ways that it can move. It works all the muscles, doesn't leave anything behind. So you can take the strength based approach like me or you can do the bodybuilding based approach. Once you get your pull movements and your compound exercises out of the way, you can start, you know, targeting all the different muscles in the back, make sure you're hitting your traps, your low back, your rhomboids, make sure that you're hitting all those different exercises, you can do that. You've got that freedom. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't. It would really help me grow my channel. Klaus X out.